Hey, good morning, guys. It's a November cold morning here to be out washing. Uh, Tim Cray, expert power wash, Vancouver, Washington. I wanted to show you guys our gun setup because I have another video where I where I showed you the Sutner 1500 ST 1500 gun. So we started off the season with that gun and it worked out great and it still works and uh, now it's kind of a backup gun. Uh, the gun I'm using now is the the Sutner ST 2315 and the reason why I'm using that gun is because it's chemical resistant. Uh, when you're downstream in houses all day, five, six days a week, uh, you're going to go through a gun. Uh, luckily, I found this ST2315 before I had a chance to tear up the uh, the 1500. So uh, I put a M5 twist nozzle on there and it seems to work out really, really well for, for house wash. And I'll show you guys the little gun setup here. All right, guys, here it is. It's the... Uh the Sutner uh, ST2315, it's chemical resist resistant, uh, meaning it has a ceramic ball. Uh, so this is an excellent gun. Um, if I had to choose what gun to use as far as my favorite and the gun that's been most dependable, uh, it'd be this guy right here. So uh, just running stainless steel fittings, uh, quick disconnects there, and then I got a stainless steel six inch tube, and that just goes to another stainless connection there. So. This right here is the M5 twist nozzle. So I'm sure you could probably just uh, connect this right to the gun. Uh, for me, I just like this six inch tube a little bit better. It, it just feels like I get a little more distance. So maybe, maybe I do, maybe I don't, but this is how I've always done it. So this is my setup here. Of course, I just run a ball valve there so I can switch between guns and bigger guns, surface cleaner, whatnot. So. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys a spray pattern. It's, it's a little difficult to hold this thing and, and record at the same time. So again, this is just to, to show you what I use for downstreaming and house washing. We'll go ahead and spray it here. So you can see that nice fan. See the water kind of jumping there? That's because I don't have my drop stick in my soap or, or my water tank. So. Having a K7 unloader is another nice thing too, guys. You know, when you pull the trigger, you don't have the gun just jumping back out at you. So, um, let's see if I can twist this up just a little bit more. So you can open this thing up all the way and it's gonna shoot super high. So we'll just kind of shoot it. I don't wanna shoot water on the house yet that I'm washing. So, just kinda. You guys can see I'm gonna easily once I put my drop stick in my uh, tank and it's not full in air I can easily hit three stories with this thing and I'm using the uh, GX 690 pressure pro eight gallons a minute so hey you guys have a great day if you have any questions uh, leave a comment uh, like subscribe to the channel I'm always putting new stuff out there have a great day